I am dating Anne Frank, and I'm tired of it. I, I, I want to go downstairs with you. I, I want to tell the Germans to kiss my ass. I want to tell them. Soon. And when I do, you'll be my date to the wedding. Derek proposed. Well, not yet, but when he does. Yes, the odds are against us. I'm a one-woman wrecking ball. All I do is break you. Your hands, your penis, your relationships, your life. I'd say our survival rate is about 3%. And that's... That's that's bad, but it's not nothing, and and I don't think that we should give up on this at least not yet because. Okay. You think you broke me, little Greg? You're the one who put me back together. Hand. Hand. Uh, Mark. I've got a couple of Shepherd's post-ops to check in on, but after that, you feel like a drink? How about a rain check, John? Jim. It's Jim. Okay. Mark. Christina's going to be back any minute. Mark. She's going to be back, and we're going to get you stabilized, and you're going to be fine, okay? Mm -hmm. Mark. Give just a few minutes, okay? She'll be back any minute. Mark. I'm... I'm dying. I am. Please. Don't. Don't. Meredith. That I love her. And that she was a good sister. Please. Tell my dad. You're not dying. You're gonna be fine. Hold my hand. I'm not holding your hand because you're not dying. No, you're not dying. Do you hear me? You don't die today. Kids. So, so Thea can have siblings. Yeah, a sister and two brothers. And That's nice. We're gonna be happy, Lex. You and me. We're gonna have the best life, Lexi. You and me. We're gonna be so happy. So you can't die, okay? You can't die. <gasps> Where she taking the stairs right about now? Mm -hmm. 
Face of non-small cell with a history of COPD? Guy's pretty much a goner, huh? Sensitivity. I like that in a stranger. Are you new here? Visiting. Confounded by all the rain and it's only my first day in town. You get used to it. it makes me want to stay in bed all day. We just met and already you're talking about bed. Not very subtle. Subtle's never been my strong suit. So, do you ever go out with co-workers? I, um, make it a rule not to. That I am so glad that I don't work here. Are you hitting on me? In the hospital? Would that be wrong? Meredith. Mark. McSteamy. <laughs> McSteamy! Woohoo! Uh, is that what you're calling me now, McSteamy? Yeah, but I don't think you're supposed to know that. That's my favorite dirty mistress. Haven't you heard? Now I'm an adulterous whore. Madison's great, but one woman for the rest of your life? It's not what God intended. <laughs> Especially for men who look like us. God intended for us many, many women. A staggering number of women. I just hope you didn't forget the ranks. Derek, you're lucky to have me. <laughs> you will never, ever find another friend as good as me, ever. Hey, are you filming this? Oh, hey. Hey. Thanks uh, for today, for, for letting me uh... You did a good job in there. Thanks. You okay? I love you. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That just came flying out of my face. It was just some kind of... I, I, lo I love you. I just... I did it again. I, 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 I love you. I, I do. I just... I, I love you. And I have been... Trying not to say it. I have been trying so hard to just mash it down and ignore it and not say it. And Jackson is a great guy. He he is. He's he's gorgeous and, and and he's younger than you and he doesn't have any grandkids or or babies with his lesbian BFFs and he's an Avery and and he liked me. You know he he really liked me. But it was never going to work out because I I love you. I am so in love with you. And you're, you're, you're in me. It's, you're like, it's, it's like you're a disease. It's like I am infected by Mark Sloan. And I just can't, I can't think about anything or anybody. And I can't sleep. I can't breathe. I can't eat. And I love you. I just, I love you all, all the time. It's every minute of every day. And I, 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 I love you. You. That's pathetic. Where are you coming? To an on call room? Now, I'm going to save you. Do you want to be saved or don't you? This boycott has gone on long enough. Now, OK, I have no authority here, but I would like to offer my thoughts on Dr. Sloan. You're doing great. Uh, this man is a whore, has always been a whore, will probably always be a whore. But I mean, that's not a secret. He's not keeping it hidden. You all knew who he was before you got involved with him. And now you want to be all, woe is me. He doesn't call me back. He's dating other women. He's nasty. And that's not just you. He's sleeping with other doctors and orderlies and cafeteria workers. But he's a doctor here and a pretty good one. So let us all close our knees and get back to our job so he can get back to his job and help the people that really need it. 
This works. It's Lexi. And I'm sorry that I, I broke. I'm sorry that I hurt you. And I'm sorry that you're humiliated. But I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I, I've got a friend who is guarding the door, a good friend. And since no one is going to be coming in, I'm, I'm, I'm now going to climb into bed with you and I'm going to stroke your hair because that's what I like to have done for me when I'm hurt. This is a place where horrible things happen. You were right to go. You're probably escaping disaster. Now will you take her, please? Look at me. You're gonna thank me for this, Avery, when you've rewatched it for the 500th time, trying to figure out how to line up your vertical mattress sutures as perfectly as I can. Now pan up to my face. You see that? Not a drop of sweat. You know why? Because I'm that good. Now go get scrubbed. You're gonna finish up here. Wait, really? Hurry, before I change my mind. I had a really? patient once. Hurry, before I change my mind. I had a patient once who told me about his wedding day and how they asked all the married couples to come to the dance floor to dance together. And then they asked the couples who'd been only married a year to sit down. And then five years, 10 years, 20 and so on. Until they got to the last two couples, uh, two sets of grandparents, been together 60 years. 60 years with the love of their life. That's gonna be you two at our granddaughter's wedding. Cali, Arizona. Congratulations, I love you. What about you? Won't you be dancing at your granddaughter's wedding? You gotta have a partner for that. Well, if you had a partner, who would it be? Oh, well, that's easy. Lexi Gray. My name is Sloan Riley, and uh, my mom's Samantha Riley, and um, Pretty sure you're my dad. Cheese. Cheese. Nothing's oh, happening. Oh, come on. I think it's on video. Should I go for that? No, just give her a second. Well, no, it's, I'm, I'm pressing the button. It's just, it's not doing anything. Oh. Maybe it's broke. I'm yeah. taking over. No, no, no. Oh, no. I don't need your help. I don't need. We have a kid from the province, oh. so you're stuck with me and my help. <laughs> it's what makes things so bittersweet. We leave little bits of ourselves behind. Little reminders, a lifetime of memories, photos, trinkets. Oh, huh. I got it. <laughs> Things to remember us by, even when we're gone. <laughs> 